What's going on, YouTube? I thought I would take the opportunity to make a video talking about the Houston Astros and this whole fiasco of what's been going on, you know, these past few months. I want to start with the Astros. As a fan of baseball, let me say for the record that I'm disappointed. Because as a baseball fan, I know for a fact that this is another example of Major League Baseball not putting its foot down enough. Now, I think how this is, I thought the suspensions were fair. I thought that them finding the team $5 million, they will not participate in two drafts. And I, I think that I think that's fair. You know, listen, at the end of the day, this is not a there's there's nothing more that Mansford could have done. You know, he can't he, he can't go after every player, Justin Verlander, uh you know, Will Harris or Jose Altuve or Correa or Breckman is saying, did you play a part in that? At the end of the day, the fine was fair. Now, all this talk, and I'm going to get into that in, 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 a, in a minute, but I think for everybody, you know, everyone needs, just needs to calm down and and understand that in my, that the way this was handled, I thought it was fair. But we really need to see at the end of the day when the dust has settled, is this is, is this going to stop or, or just something else we're not knowing? Now personally, I believe AJ Hinch, Alex Cora, Carlos Beltran, and a few other players, I believe played a role in them using a trash can or placing that camera in the center field. They knew about that. I'm pretty sure that the GM was aware of that. And I for damn sure know the owner was involved in that. Um, to me, it's just another example of Guys are given too much power and people are willing to do anything to get an advantage. And this and this is and this is not just in sports. This is this is an everyday life. People are gonna find ways to get to take advantage to get to the top over you. Period. And what the Houston Astros did was foul. And I think it sends um I think it just sends a message that, particularly in baseball, cheating is nothing new. Cheating cheating goes back to about the 1940s, 1950s. If you remember Bobby Thompson, the shot heard around the world, you know, there was story that, you know, he said that, you know, apparently the Giants, correct me if I'm wrong, were stealing signs, different things like that. You know, get the steroids there, which I'm going to get to in a little bit, but this is nothing new. And I felt the way that Mansford handled it and the way it was done, this sends a message to the other teams. Period. End of discussion on that point. Now, Houston Astros are a great team. They got the talent. Nobody is saying that they're going to be trash. But for a decade after Jeff Bagwell's of the world, Craig Vigio, Roy Oswald, Lance Berkman, Brad Ausmus, Billy Wagner, when those guys moved on, the Astros were trash. They were straight trash. I think they had lost like a hundred something games when they were in there before they moved to the American League. 
Nobody is saying that, the t- that you guys aren't talented. What they're saying is, how is a team this talented could do something so stupid and try to get an advantage over not just like the Dodgers or the Yankees, but to any team. With all due respect, you, with, with, with in all honesty, I should say, you do lose some respect. You lose some credibility because now, it's, now we have to see how you're going to look this season. Are you going to be that same team with or without the cheating? Now that goes into my next point. Accountability. I, I think that Major League Baseball has a history of selective outrage. That's my opinion. I've always felt, growing up, I grew up during the steroids era, I've always felt like if you took steroids and you were a good you you were a good player. But this whole thing about you know, it's, there's, there's, there's a certain code in the locker room where you can't snitch. Um, all this other stuff. I think that's bullshit. You know, if there's something going on in the locker room, you need to say something. Now, David Ortiz came out not too, about a few days ago and had said that Mike called Mike Frey as a snitch. Now, I disagree with Big Poppy on this point because one, David, okay, with all due respect, you were not known until you got to Boston. Okay, the Minnesota Twins had actually didn't even didn't even resign you. So that's point number one. Point number two, Mike Frayers. You know. Mike Frayers is the start of all this. Mike Frayers was on that team. He has a championship ring. He's now with the Oakland Athletics. My question is, where are the cameras at on him? Because I need to know from Mike Frayers' mouth what caused him to say these things. Did you feel like, well, we're not going to resign you? Or was the league on to you? What? I'm not saying what Mike Frayers did was wrong, but now it brings into question the integrity of a locker room. Because if a player knows something's going on in that locker room, is he a snitch? I mean, come on now, let's be real. What I think Mike did was right. I think, again, like I said, this sends a message not only to baseball, but it sends a message to the sports world. And my hope is is that all the thirty other other twenty nine teams learn from this. Now I'm gonna get to my next point. I'm getting really sick and tired of Going on T, going on, going watching, going on TV and seeing the hell is she doing? Um, and, and seeing guys who who've never been in front of a camera, okay? This being, I'm, I'm just gonna put it out there on the forefront. Never been in front of a camera. They've some of them don't even don't. Most of these shows don't even talk about baseball, okay? They predominantly talk about football, basketball, that's about it. Any other thing that's a fiasco really gets talked about. But up until now, I the, I, I, I just keep hearing Houston Astros, Houston Astros, Houston Astros this. I don't like that. Because for one, and I'm, going to, I'm just going to put it out there, Stephen A. Smith, 
who I respect, you know, is a Yankees fan. But does he actually watch baseball? See, the one thing that's so interesting about that point, that, that, that statement I just made, are I hate casual sports fans. They only want, they only support a team when the team's winning. Now, because he's a Yankee fan, that's a whole other story. That's a whole other video for another day. I don't like the fact that, you know, he's kind of he, he's kind of at the forefront of all this about, you know, they need to be stripped of the World Series title. You know, they need to be doing this. They need to be doing that. Listen, wait a minute. Even though I have seen that energy about him going off, especially on Mark McGuire. I, I don't know. Mark McGuire must have said something to him that was disrespectful. And again, my autograph. I don't know. Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa, but loves, but loves him, loves him some Barry Bonds, even though he has said that he believes Barry did something. My question is, if you guys are so up about you've lost respect for the Houston Astros, and what, what what's getting me is is that. Just because you're in front of a camera, I understand that you're going out there to put your opinion, but now it's becoming more like, I'm going to get my two cents on this. And these are guys that really don't watch the game of baseball, who probably never played the game of baseball, and most likely don't aren't baseball fans. What I don't like is the selective outrage. If you guys are real serious about stripping them of the World Series title, okay, this needs to happen. You need to strip Barry Bonds of his MVPs and his and his accolades. Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa. You need to go back to the steroids era and pick out every damn player that cheated their way into record books and the Hall of Fame. Period. Now, I'm not saying that Ken Griffey Jr. took steroids. I'm not saying Mike Piazza took steroids, but we know the steroid era is probably one of the most fucked up eras of, of sports. Excuse my language. Because there were you had a lot of guys to do anything to get an advantage. Jose Casenko, who in my opinion is, you know, Jose Casenko wrote a book about guys that he gave that he knew that took steroids he knew um he talked about who there was the provider all that stuff in this book i didn't hear I, even though i heard it it wasn't the same like mike frayers now does, does that make jose now david ortiz now let me ask you this question does that make jose jose casenko a snitch if you're calling mike frayers one see The one thing about this, th th this subject is the fact that it's selective outrage. And my question is, let's just say the Houston Astros were stripped. Is everybody going to shut up? Is everybody just going to move on? You know what? You know what? You know what's really sad about this whole thing? We didn't talk about how the Washington Nationals won. The oldest team in in oldest team this this past season. We did not talk about them. We did not talk about how We did not talk about how they overcame they fought, they they played hard, all seven games. We did we 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 didn't really give the Washington Nationals a lot of props and credit, even though we did. But I felt like that was this Houston Astros scandal overtakes all of that. At the end of the day, I think that this is not over. I I need to see what happens going forward. Um. And I hope that this is a lesson, not just for the Astros, but like I stated, 
This is a lesson for all of Major League Baseball and sports going forward. Now, for the people that have loved to gotten their face on the camera, they just wanted to get their opinion. Jalen Rose, Marcus Spears. And what gets me, again, I'm not saying that their opinions don't matter because they're, they're, they're journalists, they're sports analysts. I'm not saying they're wrong for, for speaking their mind. But do you have that same argument? Do you have that same energy when you talk about the steroids era? Where is that at? I lost respect for the Houston Astros. You know, the, con the consequences must be need to be severe. What about the guys with, that took steroids? What about the guys in the 80s that were doing amphetamines? What about guys that were racist in baseball? Because, whether you like it or not, there's some guys in, 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 in the Hall of Fame that were possibly racist. They were probably drug that, that, that were, were drug abusers. Or the guys that cheated their way into the Hall of Fame. And that's just not in baseball. That's in any sport. Period. With that being said, I'm going to close it out by saying this. Houston Astros have to lay in the bed now that they made. And I think that this is going to haunt, this is going to hurt them in the short term. In the long term, they're going to be okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but again, like I said, this is just a lesson for everybody in this for everybody to grow and make sure these mistakes aren't repeated now I also want to say this I thought this is necessary for the for, for the people that feel they need to hurt the Astros this season being balling them all this other stuff. I, 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 one, I think that's pathetic. I think that's, I think that you should be ashamed of yourself. And more importantly, you get no respect. Period. Josh Reddick came out and said that he's been getting death threats. Mike Frayer said he's been getting death threats. At the end of the day, what is that going to solve? That ain't going to solve anything. Period. So I really hope that these managers for this, these other 29 teams really, and I mean really, have a conversation with these guys because throwing bean balls and, and trying to hurt these guys ain't solving a damn thing. Because at the end of the day, listen, they cheated. I don't, we don't condone it. But at the end of the day, there's a better way of handling things. Because let me just say this. If I was a Major League Baseball player, and I know that I had teammates that were going to hurt other players I would have no respect for them I wouldn't and I think that everybody just needs to calm down relax just take a chill pill now there was one other guy that I, I wanted to mention in the video that's Rob Mansford now man, Rob Mansford <laughs> <laughs> boy, oh boy, you are one interesting, interesting um, person. I think for you to say that the World Series title is a piece of metal highlights your ignorance and highlights how much you really care about the game of baseball and how much you excuse me, care about these players. Because whether you like it or not, that's a prestige, that's a prestige award for any team. For 162 games uh, uh, that have won, the, have won the World Series, bust their asses every day. 
They're in the they're they're in the batting cages. They're in they're they're on the pitching mat. They're working their asses off every fucking day. And I think for you to sit there and say if a piece of metal highlights your ignorance, it would not phase me. Whoever wins the World Series this year, don't shake your hand. And I think for you to come out a few days later in front of cameras and apologize was just flat out weak. You should not have said that in the first place. You shouldn't have said it. Period. Now, for for the for, for the Dodgers and, and and for the the Yankees, listen. My condolences. But at the end of the day, you know, y'all don't get passes neither. You, 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 you just don't. Okay? You should have found ways around this to beat them. You know, my, my, my question to Dave Roberts is, you know, why the why, why the hell would you put Clayton Kershaw, if, 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 I'm, if I'm saying this right, as a reliever? You know, game five of, of, that, of that World Series was probably the best game. Well, he wasn't really in that game, but I'm just saying that Dave Roberts has made mental mistakes as a manager for the Dodgers, and this season is make or break. They don't if they don't if they don't get at least they don't win something. He he needs to be fired. That's just my opinion. But Game Five of that World Series was probably one of the best games that I saw. It was high scoring. It, it, it you know you, you felt the, the the energy of of that of of um Minute Maid, Minute Maid, um of that park. You just felt it. Now, even though that game is tarnished, I I still think that the na- the national showed you how to win, how to overcome the Astros. Period. So I hope by the end of this season, like I said, all the smoke is settled, all the dust is cleared, and we get to see what's going to happen. Now. I might do another video where I'm predicting how it's going to look this season. I don't know yet, but I, I, I just, I really just wanted to make a, a, a video, my response to all this, this, this fiasco, because enough is enough. It really is. You know, at the end of the day, we just got to move on and, and I hate to say, let it go. You know, the, the more we keep talking about it and the more I keep seeing people on in front of a camera and, and, and talking about, well, they don't have my respect. I don't, you know, I don't understand what's so hard. Take the trophy away, you know, and, all, and blah 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 blah. You know, it it and enough's enough. You know, move on. You know, because again, like I said, two wrongs don't make a right. I never, I didn't say that, but you know, accountability. You're going to hold the Astros accountable accountable for their actions. And you need to hold every player that has taken steroids. That have that 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 was that was a racist or that was a drug abuser or you know someone any any way to take get advantage to take an advantage of a team with a game anyway need to be held accountable. Um, and that's it. That is just it. Um, I'm going to do a video. On Gail King, my response to that. I know it's late. Um, I was really planning on doing it a, a, a while ago, but you know, some things having some other things outside of YouTube um, that needs to be taken care of. So um, please like, comment, subscribe, and um, I hope to produce this more kind of content. Um, let me know y'all thoughts. You know, am I wrong? You know, to feel this kind of way. Um, you know, I, 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 I'm open, I'm open to discussion about this. What do we need to do? You know, what needs to change? And I mean, how are y'all feeling? I mean, I pretty much everybody has said everything about the Houston Astros. Every, everywhere I look, it's Houston Astros, this Houston Astros, that, but on that note, I'm going to sign out. Peace.